Welcome. I'd like to demonstrate the new Office 2010 products, or at least some of the common features that you find with all of the products in the suite. There's uh, quite a few different products, but they have a lot of the same features, a lot of the same tabs. Um, there's many different things that you will find that's very common among them. To do that, though, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. When I open up Microsoft Word, I have... Uh, a bunch of different tabs at the top. These have now replaced the toolbars that you used to have with Microsoft Office. No longer do you have File, Edit, View, Insert. Now what you have is File, Home, Insert, Page Layout. You get the idea. Many of the tabs are common in a lot of the different products. For instance, they all have a Home tab. The Home tab basically looks different in each program, um, only from the aspect that it will have very specific things that you use all the time with that product. Here I've got my clipboard, so I've got Cut, Copy, Paste, and that's available in every product. Same with the ability to change the font. Paragraph information is here, and Styles is more geared or more suited to Word. Uh, same with Change Styles. You still have Find so I can uh, go to different spots and find different things in the document. I still have Replace, and I still have Select and Select Objects. You also now have an additional selection pane that allows you to select very specific things throughout the document. Your tabs work quite interestingly. If you double-click on a tab, double-clicking on a tab actually hides the tab. Now the ribbon takes up much less space. If I click onto the page, I can type. I have more room to type. If I need to use one of the tabs at the top, all I have to do is hover over top, click on the tab, and now the tab folds over top of the document. I can click back onto the document, and the tab folds back away. If you don't like the feature, you can double-click on uh, the tab and that just anchors it back. Insert is very similar in many of the different products. You can insert um, multiple things, tables, pictures, uh, screenshots. This is common in all of the, uh, the different products. Some of the other features that you see here are very specific to Word, like quick parts and drop caps. Your page layout, still the same, really hasn't changed. Your margins are in here, the orientation, the size. Uh, and then again, there are some very specific things uh, to Word. Uh, references is uh, something that is specific to Word, same with mailings, but review isn't. Review is found in all the products. This is where I get my uh, spelling and grammar check, research and thesaurus. Um, my track changes is obviously specific to Word, but um, uh, you do have other features that uh, are here and available in the other products. View is also another common one. When you click on View, there's a, a print layout, there's a, a full screen reading and outline and draft. Grid lines and navigation pane is here too. You can split your view, and again, that's very, very common. Oddly enough, in all the products, when you go to View, uh, this is where your macros are kept. You also have a toolbar that sits up top. This is called your Quick Access Toolbar. There's a little pull-down arrow just kind of on the end of the toolbar. If you click that pull-down arrow, these are some of the buttons that I've decided to put on that toolbar. I have a uh, print preview in print. I can take that off if I don't want to use it. Uh, but I, uh, I usually, usually do use that. I also have a new button for creating new documents, draw table, open recent. Um, one of the options that I do usually use is the ability to show this ribbon, um, this uh, access toolbar underneath the ribbon. So if I choose that option, uh, the uh, Quick Access Toolbar uh, just sits in a much better spot for myself. I see it. Uh, I can react to it a little bit faster. Um, very neat things that you can do. The other toolbar that you uh, get access to happens when you uh, highlight. See, when I highlight something, all I have to do is move my mouse pointer up. Once I move my mouse pointer up, I then get a mini toolbar that shows up. This mini toolbar has uh, a set of uh, different tools that you use on a very common and regular basis. 
all of the products now have file and file is actually referred to as the backstage. When you go to file there's generally more information uh, about the document that you're working with or the product that you're working with. Uh, generally you can protect it, check it for issues. Um, you have a feature that's called manage versions. What manage versions does for you is it's actually a recovery option. So in the event that the program crashes um, you can actually recover different documents that uh, you might have been working on. This way uh, all your work is not lost. You can actually go to manage versions and actually be able to pick up uh, hopefully where you left off. Recent shows me my uh, recent documents that I've been working with. When I go to new this uh, actually provides a, a link to Microsoft Office uh, online so uh, I can access multiple many different pl templates online and uh, be able to work with calendars and cards gift certificates or uh, what have you and again th this is very common with the rest of the suite the rest of the suite they all access um, the uh, these files templates online and the templates are constantly being changed and added to the print preview is now here so for all the products you go to file you go to print this is where your print preview is but this is also where all your different print settings are your uh, printer that you're typing from or uh, that you're you're sending stuff to when you go to save and send that uh, also really hasn't changed a whole lot in the respect that uh, you've always been able to send it as an attachment but one of the newest things now is being able to send it as a PDF and also being able to create a PDF these two features are now built within all the office products so whether it's PowerPoint or Excel or Word you can make PowerPoint sorry you can make um, PDFs out of just about anything when I had to help uh, this is where help is kept this is where you can change some of your language options and display options you can check for uh, updates um, you can also actually use the Microsoft help um, the getting started is quite useful Getting started provides you with different resources, um, different videos on how to use the, uh, the product. So um, the help has definitely changed. In all the products, your add-ins are found here. So if there's any additional add-ins that uh, have been installed in the computer, you will see the uh, add-ins here. And finally, when I go to File and I go to Options, these are all the common options that are found in all the programs. Word has the basics. General, where I can change the color scheme and the way the screen tips come up. My username sits here. Under display, there's uh, very specific things to Word, but um, each product has its own display features, its own things that you can turn on and turn off. Proofing is found here too. My autocorrect options, um, uppercase and lowercase, custom dictionaries are here, uh, French modes. Keep in mind it's uh, Parisian, not uh, Quebecois. Um, my save options are found here as well. Auto recovery, default. If I go to language, these are uh, my different language uh, keyboards that are installed, and you can install multiple keyboards to uh, to handle multiple languages. And then under advanced is a whole bunch of different advanced things. And these are common with all the products. So all of the products have these different categories. Obviously, the different options uh, will change according to the product. You can customize your ribbon, though not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, customizing the ribbon really means that you either use insert or you don't. You take the check mark out, insert no longer appears. I can put the check mark back in, and the toolbar insert would then again appear. You can create your own toolbars, uh, your own tabs. So you can create a tab that you know has all your favorite buttons, all your favorite options on it. Uh, the different groups, um, you can create your own group within that tab. If I fold out Insert, Pages is a group, Tables is a group. These are just different groups of different tools. Uh, it's a different way of displaying them. I can rename the toolbar. I can reset it if I've done different customizations to it and uh, this is a, a very well welcomed feature that's the ability to import and export the settings of the program so when I work with Word uh, and I don't want to lose any of my custom settings or uh, custom toolbars I can uh, import 
or export those settings to another program or even email it to an individual so that uh, that individual uh, can benefit from the toolbar that I've created. Your quick access toolbar, you can add different things to it as well. These are the popular commands that you have access to, but if I click my pull down arrow, if I go to all commands, you have just about everything as a button. It's incredible. Microsoft realized with Office 2010 that uh, they had to make some uh, dramatic changes. The way that people use computers are pretty predictable. A lot of times, if it's uh, not a button, uh, a lot of times users won't experiment with it. They won't go into options and customize different settings. Um, they feel more comfortable with buttons. So Microsoft pretty much made everything a button. And those are just some of your features that you have when you're now working with Office 2010.